Welcome back to CBS This Morning Saturday. The University of Maryland has been found culpable in the death of one of the players on the school's football team. That is one of the findings of an independent investigation released on Friday. While it provided new details on what led to 19-year-old Jordan McNair's death, the school has not yet taken further actions against the coaches or administrators. The 74-page report provides a timeline of the May 29th football practice that ended up costing Jordan McNair his life. The offensive lineman collapsed after running a series of sprints and had to be helped off the field. He was hospitalized with heat stroke and died two weeks later. I wish we could say that we could bring Jordan McNair back to life. That would be the greatest thing that we could possibly do. That cannot be done. And the tragedy that the McNair family has had to deal with cannot be overcome. Investigators say more than an hour passed between the time McNair showed signs of heat stroke and when team trainers called 911. The report also found the trainers did not follow proper procedures, including using cold towels and ice packs to try to bring McNair's body temperature down. The University of Maryland has a good system in place with staffing of certified athletic trainers and integration of team physicians. There is a need for better integ integration of this service. University of Maryland uh, President Wallace Lowe had already taken what he called legal and moral responsibility on the day McNair was hospitalized. Lowe says the school has already begun implementing some of the changes recommended in the report, including increasing the number of medical professionals at practices and games, adding more cooling stations at practices, and increasing the length and frequency of recovery breaks. McNair's death raised questions about Maryland's football coaching staff. Head coach DJ Durkin is on administrative leave while a separate investigation looks into what was described in published reports as abusive behavior by the coaches. When you hear something's preventable, it just feels like such an unnecessary loss. It's very hard to, to understand how the university can say they think they have a good system in place when something like this can happen. You just hope we don't see it again. Yes.